so the second uh, question is that is acute decompensated heart failure different from de novo heart failure patient of course there are many difference in the patient character characteristics as well as comorbidities triggering event clinical presentation uh, main pathophysiology uh, when we consider acute decompensated heart failure <clears throat> as uh, against uh, de novo heart failure so we know that adh have is seen in patients with more many comorbidities like isd copd atrial fibrillation diabetes stroke history of cvg and there are usually there are triggering event in in patients are uh, poor compliance of medication infection uh, increased sodium intake cardiovascular complication whereas in de novo heart failure the main triggering factor is any new uh, episode of cardiac ischemia myocardial infarction or acute valvular regurgitation or acute valvular myocarditis and toxic insult so these are the triggering events which differs in adhf uh, versus de novo heart failure clinical presentation in which is more of uh, pulmonary congestion as well as peripheral congestion increase in pulmonary congestion increase in peripheral congestion more or less the patients are hemodynamically stable in adhf but it, unlike uh, in de novo heart failure uh, where uh, patient is more often hemodynamically unstable they more often presents with cardiac shock and acute pulmonary edema uh, and the main pathophysiology physiology uh, as i have already mentioned in adhf we see increase in pulmonary and systemic vascular congestion but in de novo heart failure there is acute hemodynamic derangement caused by lv systolic dysfunction